The North Country Trail runs for 4,600 miles through seven states, from New York to North Dakota. 1,150 of those miles are in Michigan. For a number of years, their headquarters was this historic one-room schoolhouse. And for this week, it serves as our base of operation. Sterling Marsh has a clay subsoil, which doesn't allow water to percolate and escape, and thus it holds water. Sometimes there could be many, many inches of water here. So they tried little bridge pieces, single, some places, double pieces of wood together. But this entire area could hold six, eight, ten inches of rain after big rainstorms or a real wet spring. Then trees are removed from the corridor for the boardwalk. The string line is installed and then post hole locations are marked off and dug. A jig assures the proper distance apart and then cross pieces are inserted on the posts and bolted to the posts, and then side rails installed. This gives you an idea of the amount of wood we have delivered for the next section of the boardwalk. Of course, this wood then has to be carried as much as a mile into the woods to where the current boardwalk is being constructed. Local church was having a youth convention, and so they brought 130 kids and 13 adults and made a number of mile trips to deliver the wood to the work site. And believe me, that was a huge assistance to us. Over 3,500 feet of boardwalk are being built. Yeah, we want you guys to start using the screw gun. Oh, okay. You too. Okay. Well, you guys, and you're going to step back up front. And where are you going? I'm going to supervise. No way, I'm not going to still work with you. <laughs> <laughs> I will only work if you supervise. Touche. <laughs> <laughs> you know where the, I know where the stringer is. The post. I work for the pole. Where's the stringer? We are finishing up the last of this 400 foot boardwalk. And of course, true artists sign their work. And then a rail is installed, which will make this boardwalk universal access or handicap accessible. Section's finished. Heading back after having had our lunch. Over to the next section that we're working on. Here she is, the queen of the boardwalk. Every day was a picnic lunch in the woods. One day we took a walk out to the Ed Chapel rest area. And the action will shift over to Rattlesnake Creek. This was the old bridge crossing, but it'll be replaced by a far more substantial bridge. Two five-foot deep holes are being dug on each side of the bridge. Five foot long tree trunks are installed for a base and a sill put on top of it. The two stringers are then moved.
moved into position on the sills. Stringers are rebarred to the sill. Bridge approaches have to be installed on each side of the bridge now. Approaches, of course, have to be buried and be flush with the ground level. Last of the decking. Notches are cut in the bridge stringer for the posts for the railing. Next, the posts get bolted on and eventually trimmed off to correct height. Finally, the bridge rails are installed. The old bridge is removed, and the new one is quite an improvement. Good job, guys. And you just can't help standing on the bridge and gazing off at the beautiful scenery on both sides. On Wednesday, the Forest Service gave us the day off and treated us to a kayak trip eight miles down the Pierre Marquette River. And ready for the Pierre Marquette River. Yeah. And our day off from trail work. Behind your seat. Yeah. Do we have to give up quality in order to get a... Quality? Yes. Oh. <laughs> Here comes the sweeper. Some have chosen to sleep on cots and mattresses in the hundred-year-old schoolhouse filter. Others put up tents in the backyard or sleep in vans. Yeah, our boss staring me right into the camera here. <laughs> our final night on the project. And we have visitors from the North Country Trail Association office, national office, and also from Spirit of the Woods chapter, as well as the uh, Western Michigan chapter. Santa brought their family. They all brought food and beverages. Don't 
profound thank you goes out to all the 24 or more volunteers who contributed to this wonderful and highly productive week of trail work.